Here we go and welcome to the idea of technology. My name is Michael and I use the Microsoft Lumia 950 as my daily driver for a complete week just to get a feeling and an impression what it's like to use an outdated Windows Phone in 2020. And as well I made a review about the uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 7 and you can just watch it up here with the info card and I want, want to clarify that I really really like Microsoft as a brand and as a company as well as a lot of their products and because I got so many negative feedback about my Surface Pro 7 review because there were too many points that I was just re really critical about. So um, just to clarify this here, I really like Microsoft products and that was also a reason why I thought maybe it would be a cool idea to do a Lumia 950 review in 2020. But let's just get started right after the intro. So now let's just get started with the hardware first, because what Microsoft did with the Lumia 950 was just really, really impressive back at the time. So just imagine this device was just released 2015, so it's now five years ago, and still the hardware and the specs are super impressive. But let's just get started with the slogan Microsoft just claims for this device, and it was just the phone that works like your PC. And to be honest, they somehow um, delivered exactly the slogan. So on the outside, no glass, no aluminum, just polycarbonate, just pure plastic. And that just brings it to 150 grams exactly, and which is just pretty light. But on the other hand, it feels also pretty light and cheap. And what you get on the inside is just really impressive back in the days. It's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 808. That means we get a, a dual core with 1.8 2 gigahertz and a quad core with 1.44 gigahertz so it's just pretty good and a GPU with an Adreno 418 and this is all just boosted with memory of 3 gigabyte and that was just really big back in the days and this additional storage of 32 gigabyte as well and you also can attach just your micro SD card if you want to up to 200 gigabytes so when it comes to storage and memory as well as CPU this was just pretty much state of the art back in the days and what I also love and miss on the other side with just newer phones is just a replaceable battery it sounds so easy but but you were able to just replace your 3000 milliamp hour um, battery and just swap it out and just use it the whole day or you can just charge really quick with USB type C which was not a thing back then so it's just pretty high performing if you think about that my Surface Pro 7 from 2020 um, or from the beginning of 2020 just finally got USB type C and Microsoft was able to deliver extremely well performing USB type C port on their Lumia 950 back in 2015. And the USB Type-C port was just also state-of-the-art back in the days. That means you were able to deliver power with 5 volts and 3 amps and that was just 15 watts back in the days which was just super unique um, if you compare it to all the Android and iPhone competitors back then. So that was just pretty cool. But you will also able to use the USB Type-C port for certain different things I will also cover in this video. Another way of charging as well, um, if you just open the device you will see on the inside of the shell um, that you were able to use Qi charging which was also just a thing for Nokia um, back in the day so that's just always something you would get with your Microsoft device as well as NFC also implemented so you had just all the possibilities when it comes to go fully wireless um, with your Lumia 950. And what I also loved and it's absolutely the elephant in the room and it's just way more important than you could imagine is just this glorious and beautiful AMOLED display. It's just so pretty um, honestly I can't describe it it's five inches so I, in my opinion the perfect size I would love to see more devices in this size because it's just fitting perfectly in the hand yes the bezels everything could shrink down but at the end the 5.2 inches 
of uh, 1440 by 2560 so it's WQHD at the end when it comes to resolution and extremely high pixel density of 564 pixels per inch so really impressive all just covered with Gorilla Glass 3 which is a little bit tricky because you just see a lot of fingertips really fast um, they are definitely improving on this side with newer devices where you just don't see any fingertips at all but the complete display is just so so good and I really love it and I would appreciate having this display in modern devices as well. And next to the display there's something you also really need to cover in this video and this is something Nokia and Microsoft as well was always just really really good at is the cameras. And when I say cameras, I don't mean a couple of um, rear-facing cameras like in modern devices where you just have two, three, four or five different cameras on the backside of your phone. This camera in the Lumia 950 is just really good even in nowadays and when you compare it to modern devices it can hold up pretty good and yeah some there are some downsides but this 20 megapixel pure view size optics camera is just extremely good when you think about it. it's from 2015 just think about it it was also able to deliver 4k 30 fps video back in the days and that was just completely nuts just think about it even the front camera even though it's not the best one you could get up to 5 megapixels and 1080p video so it's kind of usable uh, I have some weird wobble and um, when I use the front-facing uh, camera for video but at the end we can take a deeper look into photos and videos in one of the next chapters of this um, video here but I just want to face that the rear and front facing camera was just also state of the art and just really impressive even nowadays. And when we take a look at the cameras, there's also something I want to focus on in this video because I, in my opinion it's just really unique. I use Windows Hello Face Recognition and on all my devices every day. All my Windows PCs, whether it's my Surface Pro 7 or my Tower PC at home with a Logitech Brio um, webcam, I just love it and I also loved it since the first day I got my Lumia 950. And the Windows Hello Face Recognition is not as fast as Face ID on the iPhone in modern terms but I just really love it and I love the idea of an iris scanner and um, infrared everything so it just was, was really secure and at the same time convenient to unlock your device. Even in modern terms it's just super impressive and I really love using this device and if you were thinking what is this weird shiny looking thing on the back of my Lumia 950 it's the Moft X and I funded this on Kickstarter and so one of the crowdfunding products I really appreciate and uh, to have it I have it on my uh, iPad as well and it's just pretty cute cool it's somehow like a pop socket you can just use to uh, use your phone um, just when you hold it it's more, have more grip as well as when you just stand it on your desk you can just watch a video uh, in landscape landscape or vertical mode so this is just pretty cool I really love this and it holds super flat you can just put some cards as well into it so you can just use it as well um, to have all your uh, accessories and all your things you just need every day with you. So um, the Moft X, um, just look it up. I put a link down in the video description. It's just pretty cool. Um, so just that you know what's on the back of my Lumia 950. So if we take a closer look on the back of the phone, you will notice, yes, this is just one backfiring speaker and it's just really bad. So um, in modern terms, um, this speaker is just super, super bad. Um, you will hear it, you can use it um, for a ring ringtone or whatever, but um, basically it's just useless. And what you also get on the back is just the single uh, 20 megapixel camera we just talked in a minute about and as well as some LED um, flash that up pretty good even when you go and completely darkness you can really use this flash um, to illuminate the the scenes you just want to cover even stills or just in video so these are just pretty good but now I think we just take a deeper look into the possibilities of this camera even though it's now five years old now I was just standing on my balcony just trying to capture some video and some stills 
and even some slow motion for you. And I must be honest, when we take a look at this 4K 30 FPS footage I have here, I must be honest, I'm super impressed. I'm really, really impressed that this device was just made five years ago and it still holds up that good when we look at the video. And even though um, the stills are just really impressive, but um, first just focus on the video. Um, you really get the 30 FPS and um, 4K, but on the other side, um, I was just filming in bright sunlight. The Lumia 950 overheats way faster than a Canon R5. And this is just really ridiculous. Um, after um, I think two or three minutes of continuous recording, I needed to cool down the device and it was, it was shut down completely. So um, just keep this in mind. I was really, uh, really impressed how fast this um, hex core processor can heat up and the camera as well. It was a hard time for me to capture any video in bright sunlight because this device just runs super hot. But on the other side, the image is just beautiful. If you look at the details, the contrast, the colors, as well as the bokeh, and even though this is just a smartphone camera from five years ago, this is just extremely good footage you can really use. On the other side, there's just some small wobbling and just shaking. I just try to, to be as smooth as possible with my hand, but um, sometimes I just really had a bad time to try to, to do this. And on the other side, um, you also have seven 20p um, 120 fps slow motion that you can use or could use but just look for yourself it's not really usable at the end of the day but on the other side shooting stills and this is just probably the main focus of this camera even though it could shoot 4k but the main focus is definitely definitely the ability to shoot stills and on this side wow That was the complete hardware part and I'm really impressed about the hardware but now we get into the way more trickier part and why the Windows Phone was failing and Microsoft is not supporting this platform anymore. But first something I was really impressed about when I was um, getting my Lumia 950 up and running I really got another update for 2020 it was the update 01B for Windows 10 versions um, on the base of 1709 so Windows 1709 for ARM-based phone devices and I was really impressed that I still get an update for my just really outdated and not supported anymore uh, Lumia 950. But somehow this makes sense if you think about Microsoft is now uh, on the side of ARM-based devices with their Surface um, X lineup. Um, I think they will just um, put this way more into focus as well as Apple will just completely support ARM-based um, devices and de develop their own chips and just use their own PCs um, on, on Macs for this as well. But it was just really a unique approach for Microsoft to support um, Windows ARM-based devices this early and they failed and I think they were just um, needed some time to figure a few things out and now we're here with the Lumia 950, a Windows-based uh, smartphone. When you the first time unlocking your Lumia 950 with your face, you feel somehow familiar with the complete layout and what you can see on the screen and um, it's just really interesting. Yes, you can get some um, Lumia 950 uh, skins or themes from Android as well, but on the other side it looks and feels somehow a little bit like iOS 14. I have the iOS 14 better on my um, iPhone 11 here, but um, I must be honest, the app drawer, the widgets and the whole feel and look alike. Um, I think Apple just um, took a few bites out of the um, not existing Lumia 950 and the Windows lineup and just implemented a few features that, are, that weren't that bad at the end, I think. And if you're digging any deeper into the um, operating system, you will notice, okay, this kind of looks and feels like Windows 10 and the settings menu, everything is as well the same complicated with Win like Windows 10. So if you're really looking 
searching for something, the search doesn't find you anything. And on the other side, you will just really need to know way to find your settings and just to really personalize your device the way you really want to. And on the other side, yeah, the App Store, um, that's uh, another story. I could um, talk maybe one hour about the uh, Windows Store at this point. The Windows Store is just really good when we look at Windows 10 PCs as well as um, the Xbox uh, lineup. But for the Lumia 950 and the complete Windows Phone lineup, the App Store was just always extremely bad. Just a fraction of the apps um, that you can find on iOS or Android and the apps as well weren't that good um, developed. So really you can't rely on the Windows Phone Store at all. So um, it's a really big bummer. And if you look at WhatsApp, for example, it's not supported anymore. So basically to use this Lumia 950 as your daily driver is really, you will really have a really bad and tough time to use it because the apps that are still support, supported or at least running on this device is just really, really limited. The things I would use the Lumia 950 at this point is probably just media consumption. So you have a headphone jack, which is just pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's not waterproof at all, but um, you get a headphone jack. The AMOLED screen is just beautiful and you can watch your photos, your videos, um, maybe even Netflix and um, Spotify is still running. So um, this is just really a good device for a media consumption at this point and I also love the idea of having a dedicated uh, buttons for your camera as well um, I haven't talked about this um, hardware part but I really love this because when you're outside having gloves on your hands um, having a dedicated shutter button is just really really worth it and on the other side you also have a more um, detailed um, ability to uh, decide what you want to mute or how you want to set your volume on your media or on your device and ringtone as well so this differentiation just really I'm really missing on an iPhone and even on Android devices it's not always implemented and one last killer feature I just want to talk about on this video is Windows Continuum so the idea was for Microsoft to use your Windows phone like a PC and um, it was nearly powerful enough and I really used it from time to time even made some presentation with it so the Lumia 950 is just really focused on the complete Microsoft ecosystem System, Microsoft lineup, so OneDrive implementation, as well as Outlook, um, Exchange Online, whatever. It's just really deep implemented into the Windows Phone operating system, as well as the apps are running just really smooth. And Windows Continuum just took all these different parts and just made it together so you have the chance to wirelessly or wired with a Windows dock. I will just talk about in a different video. So um, if you want to see me doing a video about the Windows dock, um, just subscribe to this channel and it would be really, really really cool you have the chance to just mirror your windows phone to a really big screen and use it as a desktop and that was just super unique somehow like samsung dex um, a couple years later you had the chance to use your powerful device you have always in your pocket and all your maybe all your uh, uh, data with you all the time you just can slap on your uh, keyboard and mouse and just be able to use your windows phone as a windows pc just for basic work um, and get your stuff done so this was just pre pretty pretty cool at that time and i think this is just one of the killer features of the Lumia 950 till today. At the end I'm still happy that I'm able to switch back to my iPhone 11 as my daily driver because the Lumia 950 just give you a lot of headache and a lot of trouble going through the whole day. It's somehow possible and I would really like to see Microsoft coming back to phones again because I think there is a niche between an iPhone and an Android device and for people that are really into the Windows ecosystem and into the Microsoft ecosystem there is definitely a niche for pro your productive and productivity phone at the end and you're not really used to go for a Blackberry and um, you could use maybe a modern a Windows phone at the end but and we'll see what the future will bring for Microsoft at this part and if you dislike this video you know what to do but if you liked it hit like down there get subscribed and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video of the idea of technology and I just want to say thank you very much for watching have a great day bye